Number 43, explain the following observations. And then we have letter A. So it takes longer to cook an egg in Fort Davis, Texas, which has an altitude of 5,000 feet above sea level, than it does in Boston, which is at sea level. Okay, so we just have to explain why an egg cooks longer in a higher altitude than at sea level. So I have this beautiful picture here of basically sea level. And as we can see, the ground is level with the, I guess we could call this a C, right? And then we have a higher elevation. Here is like, you know, the, the mountains or whatever. Now, just keep in mind that there's always uh, something below sea level, right? So that's when you, you know, diving into the ocean or, you know, in a pond or a lake and you're going uh, deep down. You can go below sea level. So we'll talk about that a little bit as well. Now, you have two options here, right? Somebody could, just like we, just like we uh, said, we can dive down into the depths of the ocean or the sea, or we can climb up a mountain, right? We can go up the mountain. I guess I'll draw it like this, right? Go up and up and up until we reach the summit, right? The highest point. Now, just know that as you're going below sea level, it's a very, very, very pressurized uh, down there. So that's why we can't make it very far, because our bodies would not be able to handle the amount of pressure that's being you know, placed on our bodies. So as you're going below sea level, you are increasing in pressure, specifically in atmospheric pressure the pressure of the atmosphere. And as you are climbing up a mountain, up to the top of the top of the summit, right, you are decreasing in pressure, specifically atmospheric pressure. And in the atmosphere, that's where all of our oxygen and our nitrogen that we need to breathe in. Atmospheric pressure. So that's why if you are traveling, you know, if you're climbing a mountain and you're trying to reach the summit, think of Mount Everest, right? You're only able to be at the top of the mountain for such a small amount of time because there is such a small amount of as, as, uh, uh, atmospheric pressure up there. That means that there's such little oxygen in the air and we need oxygen to breathe. So that's why once you get up really, really high, you might need to use oxygen masks or something to supply you oxygen because the atmosphere up top, all the way up there, is not giving you the adequate or enough amount of oxygen. So that's just what we have to think about here. As you go below sea level, you're picking up atmospheric pressure. As you're going above sea level, you're decreasing. So now we have Fort Davis, Texas, which is at an altitude of 5,000 feet above sea level. So let's just pretend, I don't know, let's just pretend that the, the tip of the mountain here, this is Fort Davis. So this is Fort Davis, Texas, 5,000 feet. And down below here is a city, right? Let's just pretend that this is Boston. Boston is at sea level. All right. So this has everything to do with a boiling point. Now, the boiling point is what's going to cook an egg, right? If you put a pan, uh, you know, if you heat up a pan with a little butter or oil and you want to cook an egg, right? If you heat it up really, really, really hot and you crack open that egg, you'll see that the surrounding whites of the egg is starting to boil, right? It's a quick, a quick cook. So you're reaching the boiling point. And the boiling point is the temperature in which the vapor pressure of whatever the substance is, is uh, equal to the atmospheric pressure. So the key here is that if you have a high atmospheric pressure, 
you're going to have a high boiling point or a high temperature. So we'll write that down. So the higher the atmospheric pressure, atmospheric pressure, the higher the boiling point temperature. Whoop. The higher the boiling point temp. Okay. And the higher the boiling point temperature, right, the hotter it is. And if something gets pretty, pretty, pretty hot, right, the cooking time, if you're trying to cook something, decreases, right? So the hotter it is, the shorter the amount of time it takes to cook. So that's the whole slew of the, um, the relationships. So the higher the atmospheric temperature... The higher, sorry, the higher atmospheric pressure, the higher the boiling point, um, and the higher the boiling point, the higher the temperature, the hotter it is, and since something is really, really, really hot, it doesn't take too long to cook. So just know that at 5,000 feet above sea level, since you're decreasing atmospheric pressure, you have generally a lower atmospheric pressure than you would if you were talking about Boston. Right? Between Boston and Fort Davis, Boston has the higher atmospheric pressure. And then we can just slew along all the stuff that we just said. Higher atmospheric pressure means higher boiling point. I'll just title it BP, temperature. And lower the atmospheric pressure, the lower the boiling point temperature. And if you have a low temperature that in which you're boiling, it's going to take longer to cook because you have a lower temperature, lower amount of heat coming off of the, the stove. So we'll say longer time to cook. Longer time to cook. And then over here, higher the temperature, hotter it is, the shorter time needed to cook. And that's basically it. So it's basically comes down to atmospheric pressure and boiling point temperature. And I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you're having a great day out there. Let's keep studying hard. Uh, good luck on your tests and quizzes. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.